Do what? Are you do what now? You want me to come what, over here? What, what, what's your machine? Oh, 2018 Razor yeah. Turbo S. Um, look at the camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> We're so good at this. Okay. I'm Benjamin. It's my Turbo S. Uh, 2018. 2018. What year was it? 2018. 18, okay. Okay, so upgrades. Some of the most important ones. I guess I'll start with the suspension. Got the ORV uh, radius rods, low radius rods, and the trailing arms, which is, in my opinion, probably the single best upgrade suspension wise that, that you can have. Uh, and then on the front, follow me. Did uh, special carriers, lower A arms, and uh, took the sway bar off the front. Got uh, special carriers uh, tie rod ends and uh, performance side by side bushings. Uh, other suspension, I did go with the shock therapy. Um, not a real big fan of it, so uh, probably wouldn't do it again if I had another build. Uh, but it, it does ride better. Um, got the Polaris winch on there, the high speed recovery one. Who makes that grill? The aftermarket assassin? A solid industry. A solid industry. Yeah. And then just some cheap Amazon pod lights, seismic mirrors, and whatever light bar that I stole from Chris. Good looking cage. Yep. Gatekeeper Designs cage. Uh, this one was actually on Chris's rolled machine, and we did a little bit of swapping. It held up so well when I totaled my razor, it fits perfect on yours. Basically, I went with it because the way the back bars were cut on it, um, I, I couldn't open my storage box, which was a not not very functional. So I also took Chris's Rifa box that he had in his old Turbo S, and um, you know that thing's got tons of storage <clears throat> in it. Uh, got. SD, is it who makes these? Is that SDI? SDI, SDI uh, HD9s. Nines. Nines. Six plus one offset. Six plus, no, I've got five twos. Yeah. Five two offset running carnivores right now. Really good tire. And then we got PRP GTSE. Is that no? Is it the GTSEs? It's the same ones you have in yours. GT3s. G, no, 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 the other one, the blue one. The, the, old, the old blue one. Chris is ready. Uh, GTSE, yeah. GTSE or whatever. No, the XCs. Those are the those are the XCs. Um, that's basically. Yeah, yeah so, you're right. What's the backstory on the two different colors of blue on your suspension? Uh, is that a performance upgrade? Ryan or? Edwards is colorblind and told me to. <laughs> he told me to. That was the color, and that's what I went with. So, I asked what the powder coater said. So he was misled. I was misled. So we're all misled. Oh wow! That, I, I didn't even notice till <clears throat> Chris mentioned it. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. The front matches. The back doesn't. Um, so you're saying Special Carriers does a better job than ORB at matching Polaris Blue? Yeah, well, I told them what to put, so it's, <laughs> it's technically my fault, which is technically Ryan's fault, which is whoever told them his fault. That's that's basically it. We've got a couple of tiny things like, you know, mud guards, which are a must. The uh, Walker Evans Lynx. Walker Evans Lynx. My doors, uh, Pro Promer Stealth doors. What skid plate did you use? Uh, that's actually that's actually a Super ATV skid plate. Um, you know. And I've got uh, uh, Tony's Toys uh, rock sliders. They're really hard to tell that you've even got them on there. They're aluminum. I had them on my old machine. Really liked them. Um, you know, they're lightweight and they, you know, they don't catch on stuff. Like they don't get stuck on them. Can't think of much else. How about the Street Legal Kit? Oh yeah. Uh, who made that? Corbin. Ryko. Ryko. Yeah. Oh, yours is Ryko. Yeah, right I got a Ryko signal kit, Street Legal Kit. I don't have my license plate on there right now, but it actually integrates into the thing lots Ruth, if you want to look at that. And so they're actually, they actually double as the signals, and then the brake light pulses when you hit it. It's got flashers, and I think they're working, aren't they? And you put a wimpy yep. little horn on it, didn't you? No, I didn't like the horn that it came with, so I put the horn from my F-150 on it, so... 
pretty Chris's loud. Favorite. That is much better than Ryan's weak ass horn. So that's a Ford F-150 horn. Just had to get a pigtail to it and wire it up. <clears throat> I think I think that's about it. I mean, I, there's probably a couple other little small things that I'm missing. I'm still using the same harnesses um, that came in the machine. They work pretty well for me. You want that CB? Oh uh, yeah, uh, Brad Blair. Um, side by side radios. Side by side radios. Awesome radios. Uh, we were at Black Mountain in February. And me and Chris were in at the campground or at our cabin, and uh, Ryan and the rest of the gang were like way far away, and we could hear for we could pick them up for they were a good three or four miles away from us in some pretty rough terrain. So um, they've always worked good for all of us and that's the radio you need to get for sure you upgraded from a 16 turbo 16 turbo to, to this one yeah what's what do you like most about this one? turbo s over any like xp or the old turbo my number one thing was how how much quicker the steering is it's it is as wide as it is if people worried about how wide the machine is it is so agile it's so much quicker to turn in and out of the trails it's really not a it's, it's really not a hindrance on us if, if it being wider it's actually better it could be wider and it still wouldn't be a problem but that that's my number one thing there's lots of things power ground clearance all that stuff's important but for me my number one thing that i liked over anything else was how how much quicker it would turn and how easy it is to, to kind of handle but that's pretty much it unless you can think of something else i don't i didn't remember huh i think you covered it all what kind of gas you have? 93, 100%. Okay. What tune did you use? So I can uh, yeah, it is tuned. I forgot about that. It's a Dino Jet <clears throat> tune, tuner. I, I think it's Outdoor supposed to... Assassin? Yeah, it's supposed to add like 23 or 25 wheel horsepower. Uh, so it'll it'll get up and go. But I, I never really drove it without it. Actually, I drove it two miles before I tuned it and I never got on it. So I don't know how much better over stock it is, but... It's a lot faster than the 16, that's for sure. Good? Good. Who's, 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 who's next? Up? Is that Ryan? This hunk of here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 2019 Turbo S. Uh, I came from a 2018 Turbo S, and then I had a 16 uh, Turbo like Benjamin's before that. Uh, some of the things I've done to it, uh, same grill Benjamin's got. The Salt Industries grill, uh, Polaris winch, uh, special carriers, lower uh, A arms, uh, RCV axles, some cheap eBay or uh, Amazon spotlights are like thirty-five bucks. Assault doesn't sell that the titanium. You had to paint it, right? Yeah, I took the this comes off, and I took it off and spray painted it. Um, took all the ugly red off of it. And uh, Gatekeeper Designs Cage, Austin, get with him. We all run his cages. They're awesome. Uh, light bar from Amazon. That's a very special light bar to me. Is the light bar toast? Uh, obviously. Uh, my crawler tires on here. I'll always have crawler tires. I love those tires. Chris knows all about that. Uh, Mud Buster fender flares, Pro Armor, Stealth Doors. Um, can't remember what kind of mirror the uh, Dragonfire mirrors, um, GT PRP GT3 seats. I've had like three or four different uh, PRP seats, and so far these have been my favorite. They're sort of a mixture between the X they're, XTCs. They're kind of, yeah, they're and kind of between the XC and the, yeah. the GTSEs. I've had both of those. Um, let's see what else. Gear grabber shifter, that's one of my favorite mods oh, yeah. that I've done. I love that. I forgot about that. Um, another thing I did differently on this machine versus a lot of the others I've done is <clears throat> I did the um, trail armor skid plate instead of the tree kickers. Uh, it's got it integrated in, which really helps. You don't get caught up on rocks and stuff. And Wh Whose idea was that skid plate? And moving on, um, <laughs> I've got uh, special carriage manufacturing, uh, uh, radius rods, um, 
I did Razor 8 tender springs instead of shock therapy and I'm really happy with that setup. It, uh, it rides a lot better and it's a lot cheaper as well. Uh, Trinity exhaust, uh, Rifab box, I love this. This is also one of my favorite mods that I've done to it. Uh, it stores a ton of stuff in there. And uh, trailing arm, special carrier manufacturing trailing arms. Uh, aftermarket assassin stage three tune and took the sway bar off the front last year i had ridden with one on the front most of the time and <laughs> taking it off made a huge difference it's so much easier to basically articulate it just keeps the the whole machine a lot more stable so i'll probably won't ever run a front uh stabilizer anymore ruth did you see how clean it is i can feel the sc1 on it yeah, but yeah. If, you'll look, if you'll just go ahead and look behind the seats, do we have um, to? You can you can see just how clean it is back there. Oh man, really, sees that really you, nice like, behind the seats. Out, so thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Inside, there's not a whole lot. Uh, door bags. I went with the Polaris door bags instead of the uh, PRPs that I've always had, and I really like these. It hides the zipper. And if anybody has door bags, you know, like when this gets muddy, the zipper is impossible to open and close. So those are Polaris OEM, uppers and lowers. How about the doors? Um, he got the doors. Yeah, I got the doors, Pro Armor. And then uh, same CB that all the guys are using, the Brad Blair's uh, setup. But as far as it being, it's finished. Like I'm not gonna do anything else to it. It's dialed in, I love it the way it is. There's really nothing else I would put on here or change about it. Um, I'm real happy with everything. I really like the, if I had to say probably my top three favorite things, uh, the gear grabber shifter, uh, the box, and probably the skip plate. Light. light bar, don't forget your light bar. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean that's in a <laughs> class by itself. But it's been a good machine, I've got about 1200 miles on it, uh, hadn't had it too long, but it's done well, I'm happy with it. So who's next? That would be Brian. The guy that don't talk? Yeah. Yeah. You guys right. might not know Brian. Yeah, if you guys don't know him, the boy right here, his name's Brian. <laughs> call him spoiler. Yeah, that's right. He doesn't uh, really talk much, so here's what we're going to do. I'll go through his razor. He'll not. I love it. You just kind of like whisper and what's going on. So we'll start what with. What year is this? Just make it up as you go. Okay, so this yeah, is like good at, that, at least a 2008. Ish, yeah. 18 Turbo S. We've got crap on here that I don't even know what it is. That's for a windshield. That's for a that's windshield. That's not on it right now. <laughs> well, you're doing a fine job. I mean, you, I you can let him do it. Anytime you want to take over. <laughs> All right, it's an 18 Turbo S. Um, it was a blue razor and we painted it just to be a little different. Uh, we did special carriers, lower A arms, and performance side by side bushings, tie rods, and bushings. <clears throat> shock therapy springs i don't know about that but um uh, gatekeeper oh, designed cage that. huh As i forgot to mention that yeah, shout out to mention this the, side by side bushings tie rides on mine as well sorry <laughs> yeah i like those yeah they took a beating so far uh i'm trying ryan's favorite crawler tires this weekend do my first trip first ride with them you're gonna at those things what, what, are those, what are those measure true <laughs> uh, you didn't measure them don't, <laughs> These are special. They're I'm, I'm, 32 I'm, and a quarter inches tall I'm only with 10 for pounds of air. I'm just asking I know, for a friend. I know, my special friend didn't get to make it this weekend. Yeah. But, I'm yeah. asking for a friend. Uh, always been a carnivore <laughs> fan, but they were unavailable, so it's time to try something new. You're going to be really disappointed. No, you're not. Uh, really disappointed. <laughs> I mean, aside, I'm, not, I'm not sold on Chris's opinion yet because he always runs into things and flattens it. Exactly. So. <laughs> exactly. I didn't flatten them. They're going to be great tires. I have the same problem, I understand. They're going to be right. great tires for you, buddy. Um, <laughs> Gatekeeper Zion Cage. I uh, really like everything Austin does. I think everybody should check him out. Yeah, look at these welds. I mean, his. His welds are absolutely incredible. Yeah, he puts a lot of pride into everything he does. Yeah. <laughs> Who made so, your doors? Uh, they're UTV giant. So, uh, something cheap. I really, more than anything, did it to be able to put the sticker on the door. So it was a good flat side. But some one-off tree kickers. Yeah, those are something that I made. And uh, while they're all right, I won't do them like that again. Uh, 
they stick out a little too far, but live and learn. I, everything I do, I decide I want to do differently next time. So, and got special carriers, trailing arms, L and W fab, radius rods. Did aftermarket assassins, exhaust and tune, and blow off valve, all that stuff. It's so fast, it had to have a spoiler <laughs> to keep me from wrecking it. <laughs> <laughs> That's really all I can think of. Got to keep the back on the ground somehow. Yeah. yeah. Try to keep from wearing out my new tires. Make yeah. some more traction. <laughs> Got a uh, rocket phosphate stage four. Yeah. Yeah, I like that pretty good. And I got a side-by-side uh, -side radio to communicate with these guys, listen to their crap they give me. What shifter you got? You got uh, B and M. B and M. Yeah, it's what all right. It's real similar to the gear grabber, but uh, probably not hardly as nice. What would you say your the best money you spent on it? Uh, cage first, and then suspension upgrades. Cause I don't think it would still be rolling if it was all on factory stuff. It'd, it'd be killed. So dumb driver ran over a lot of things. It's a good looking machine. Thanks. Yes, sir. He had, he had a gray and black one before Polaris made gray and black. He yeah. took a, got all these body panels painted and it was back when they just had blue and red. Yeah, and red, 18. Yeah. yeah. Looks good. Three all right, Jeremy. All right. Bring it on over. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I'm Jeremy. If you've been following this long enough, you probably know. I haven't had this very long. I'm pretty new to this turbo world um, started out with the 800 still have it went to the 900 and now I'm up to this guy so I, I really haven't had a lot to do with it um, as far as upgrades and basically everything's still stock and kind of followed run with some Amazon lights and unlike these guys I do like a windshield because I hate being cold it's the only reason it's got its pros and cons, of course. You, is there a spot for your purse in there? Super, there is actually. I, I built it special just for my little purse. I keep my tampons in it. Always got to have them. But it is a super ATV. I, I went with this one because I do like the option of just easily having it accessible when I want it. Uh, I went ahead with the super ATV rear one as well. That one was mostly for the dust, and we tested that out at a black mountain when we went to white rocks and it worked out great ryan i think didn't you mention to me about i didn't even have on goggles mm -hmm. remember and it was the thing i put the windshield down didn't even need goggles and it was dusty as can be i did the mud busters mud flaps that's a that's a must yeah no um, doubt this no, i'm pretty sure that's the first thing i did to this thing um got the same radio um, you know, tablet with some maps on it, Corbin Customs. We just got the um, turn signal kit. And don't show in here. It's I dirty took, in there. <laughs> I robbed my other razor of the door bags. I did steal some stuff off the 900, like the mirrors here and the door bags. Let's see. Everything here is stock. I haven't done anything. It's just the way it comes. I ended up going with a rigid boxes Seemed that's a good setup good. Yeah. Get a cooler in there and in the box yeah those boxes you know down at home depot about 40 bucks i think for both and then, don't forget the muff pot and then, oh yeah we got a muff pot never been cooked yet never been cooked in but i do have a muff pot just in case and that's about it for mine guys nothing exciting Last is the dirtiest rated. Yeah, the last, the last is, the is the one that is mine. The previous owner took yeah. care of it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Really take care. Let me let me intervene here. <laughs> this machine when he pulled up, uh, the worst it's ever looked. I mean, <laughs> that's not true. this thing. I said as soon as I sold it to him, I felt bad for because I know it's it's going to be put through hell and Chris is going to screw it up. He hadn't screwed the tires up yet, but he's... Oh, yes, I have. Next ride, this, he look will. This, look at this crack. No, I mean by taking them off. Look at that. Look at that. By, by taking them off. But he don't believe in SC1. It's just... Man. It's, it looks good-ish. Which is all <laughs> you really need. It's not a car show. Right? 
Right. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah. What yeah. what what is it? Like why does that look so familiar, Chris? Uh, that be, razor because look Because you may or may not have seen that I had a nineteen Razor Turbo S that kinda got totaled on Trail thirty nine. And you mean you Ryan felt it bad for it? me because I didn't have a razor anymore. All I had was an X three. So he talked me into selling old Yeller and my X three went down the road. Dude, that was the smartest decision you ever made. <laughs> Yeah. I, I still say that thing would go anywhere any of these machines go. I just didn't like working on it in the garage. But he decided he was going to rip me off and sell this yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> right. So Good friends you got there. I mean, it, it saved me having to do some of the upgrades, but there's obviously some things I'm going to have to do. I mean, i got to get rid of these crap tires. <laughs> That's definitely uh, job number one. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, I'll show you how good the rock lights work you sold me. They work when I sold it you to can, you, buddy. You can see the rock lights here. They uh, they don't do anything. All That's, sales final. They are, those are infrared rock lights that, yeah, you, can uh, see with you know, it's just pretty nice. But otherwise, uh, no warranty, all sales final. And they worked when I gave it to you. <laughs> Everything worked when you gave it to me. Everything worked when you gave it to me, including the missing cotter pin that I had to put brake pads on it for. Yeah, well, that, that was fine too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was your fault. Yeah. Well, tell anyway. tell us about what upgrades you got. What's br not what's broken. So, uh, as far as what <laughs> the upgrades that I've done to this razor are, uh, I put some Simpson seat belts in it and gas. That's what I've had to do because when I buy a razor, it's, it's already, already built. I mean, that's... <laughs> yeah, but I, I even sold it to him with wheel caps. Look at that, <laughs> and I haven't broken any of them. See, so you ain't got to talk crap. It does have the gear grabber shifter that I will note that he had powder coated the wrong color and the cage is powder coated the wrong color but I'm not really doesn't doesn't matter I do have a parking brake uh, I absolutely believe in parking brakes especially when you're on the hills these things are very difficult to get out of gears out of park sometimes so definitely a parking brake plus I use it when we're uh, when we've got it in the camper going down the road that makes it pretty nice uh, it's got uh, one of the world's only custom PRP seats with a three inch riser in it so that my lovely wife can see over the bars. That was uh, another it's Ryan Edwards sweet. special. He did that. He says it's for Ruth, but really he switches it out right before he goes right in. Right before I get in. No, I don't, I don't do that at all. <laughs> uh, I don't have the very nice custom uh, microphone mount on my on my Polaris seat belts like Ryan did. I've just got a couple a of zip ties seat, holding it here. Tie. See, nice. He did when I sold it to him, but see, he <laughs> screwed it up. <laughs> I didn't like it. They were terrible. I was just a zip tie. Yeah, yeah. But other, I do like having a rear view mirror uh, on my Turbo S. Austin's cages are really nice, but it's a, it's it's tough to find a rear view mirror that will fit underneath the roof. And uh, this one that Ryan put in is very nice, but I didn't feel like spending the money on my old razor. So it worked out that when I bought this one, it came with a really nice rear view mirror. So I, I did save some money there. Uh, it does have the Razorback temp gauge, which most of the machines here have. The Razorback temp gauge is something you ought to have. Uh, it's a great but, thing about the Turbo S is it's really not needed. No. It's nice to be able to see it, because I mean, well, we average probably 140, 150. Yeah, it's rarely, if ever, over 160. Whereas like the old 16 turbos would, would yeah. easily get two, 215, 220, and, that, and they would overheat. <laughs> we've got some other custom Edwards only up, updates here, where we've got all the possible bling. So we've got a blue <laughs> custom anodized ring holding my vent tube onto my clutch cover. Not many people have that. So I can stand proud on that. You know, it does have Walker Evans links. It does have the Rifab box with all kind of stuff in it, which uh, I think that holds a lot of stuff. That's really good to have. And uh, again, I've got new tires waiting at home. I just, uh, I was gonna wait and use these tires at Stony, give them one more chance to see if they'll go anywhere. But uh, I've got another set of X comps at home because that's what was on my other razor. I'll, I'll point out that the traction was so good on the X comps that I climbed right up the wall and flipped over. So that's that's why I stuck with those X comp tires. Pretty much. We'd have to. Yeah. The driver had everything under control in that particular mishap. Right. Yeah. RCV axles. RCV axles, which is a huge waste of money, but he, I got them. So, how many axles have I broke? I mean, none. How many have I broke? Don't answer. Two. I got. Oh, well. 
At least two on the other one. I don't know. No, like more like six. Okay. No, I broke. So on my four seat turbo, I broke one axle on trail 57 and I broke one axle at Brimstone on trail 3B. And on my Can Am, Chad broke an axle in my garage, but we've never broken an axle on that. Chad's broke one of mine. I never broke in one. A garage, That's right. Sort of. I never oh, broke uh, an axle on the Can Am. And I broke two axles at Black Mountain in my last Turbo S. And my high lifter, I never broke that. So, four. Okay? Six is a lot different than four. The most important mod for Chris, is, I'll go ahead and say it, is his winch. Because he uses it a lot. To get him out of trouble is pretty much why I use the winch. I don't need the winch for me. I need the winch to back him out of mud most of the time. <laughs> most of the time. That's about the only time, yeah. But... That I have As you can see, we're pretty big, we're pretty bullish on Turbo S's. There are five of them here. Brad's is missing, Sonny's is missing, and uh, Joey's on his way here with white trash, but we would not want to see Joey behind the wheel of a Turbo S. It's all he can do, it's all we can do to keep up with him in these machines. I can't believe how well he does on that. Yeah, in my opinion, they are by far the best side-by-sides you can buy. Um, the pro the new pro xp is pretty awesome like all the creature comforts and all that inside is nice but i can't go back to a 64 inch after after being a 72 to me that's the one of the biggest biggest advantages to these machines is the width you know the stable the, just the stability um, all the off-camera stuff it just makes things so much easier i mean it's yeah you've heard us say it before on the videos i mean it's almost like it's cheating but when they come out with the 72 Pro S, S then we'll probably I'm hoping you'll see they some of us probably upgrade to that. But. I'm hoping they don't come out with a Pro S because my checkbook needs yeah. a break. Yeah. Especially after paying all the money I had to pay for that thing. Yeah. <laughs> right. Cost market value. Right. <laughs> well, all right. Well, I guess that about wraps it up. But uh, I just kind of wanted to shoot this video for you guys. We've had a lot of people ask about it. Just kind of the walk around on our machines and what we like what we don't like so i uh, appreciate you watching if y'all have any questions or comments or whatever feel free to leave them in the video and uh again we appreciate y'all watching